Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0345 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0345 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit malfunction bank 2. And what does this mean? Well, basically the camshaft position sensor reports back to the onboard computer the location of the camshaft as it spins. And this is used for timing. And when the onboard computer sees an error in the system, it's reporting out this error code P0345. So it'll have to be troubleshooted to figure out what's going on inside the system. And so it's going to be two main causes. It's either going to be in the wiring or it's going to be inside the sensor. And keep in mind, some vehicles, some Dodges do have two camshaft position sensors and newer ones. So that's something to keep in mind. It's, it's not so common. Usually there'll just be one, but there can be two. So keep that in mind. But usually when you have this problem, it's either going to be a bad sensor or bad wiring. And some people will just go ahead and swap out the sensor. And if that doesn't solve the problem, then they'll come back and troubleshoot the wiring. But the wiring is not hard to troubleshoot as long as you have some basic idea what's going on with it. And most wiring harnesses are going to be three wire. This is the most common. Older Dodges did have two wire and some newer ones can have four wire. So you always want to get a schematic and be sure you have a readout to know what's going on. But by far the most common is three wires going to the camshaft position sensor. And the way this works is it's pretty simple as you have a ground wire in the middle. You'll have one wire going back to the battery, which is usually 12 volts, but this can vary. It could be 8 volts. It's just a solid voltage that is coming from the battery as a source. And the third wire is going back to the onboard computer. It's going back to the PCM. And when the sensor detects a piece of metal in front of it, it'll close the circuit and it'll send a, a 5 volts down the third wire back to the onboard computer. So when there's no metal in front of the, the sensor, it'll stay at zero. So a common way that a mechanics will troubleshoot this is they'll take a, another sensor, a known good one, and they'll attach it to the wire. They'll come in from the back, they'll go from the ground to the computer wire that's going back to the computer. They'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor and see if it changes. If it changes, it goes like zero volts and goes to five volts, then you know the whole circuit's good and you know that's all good to go. If it doesn't, then you know you got a problem. You have to troubleshoot why, like you got to open or shorted wire or something along these lines. There's some YouTube videos on that if you want to sit there and check out how you could do that or, or different ways you could troubleshoot the wiring. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is quite commonly these are on a, a fuse. So if the fuse is blown, you're not going to get no power to the circuit. So you wouldn't get no voltage going from the battery to, to the harness. So, and especially if there's a short or something, it could be blowing that fuse. So that's something to keep in mind. Be sure to check for a fuse. Usually inside the engine compartment, up underneath the hood, there's a fuse box in there. It'd usually be in there somewhere, but it could also be up underneath the dash. Again, it just varies. Depends on the Dodge, the engine type, and the year. And so basically you want to check the wiring and check for a, a blown fuse. So if you've done all that, then very likely you are going to have to replace this camshaft position sensor. Now these can be easy to, to change out. Um, the sensor themselves is really easy to change out. They usually just have one or two bolts and a harness going to it. But sometimes other parts can be in the way. It just varies. It just depends on the on the year and the engine type. And so if there's nothing in the way, they're usually pretty simple to swap out. And so what do you do if you have a Dodge with a P0345 code? Well, first thing to do is Google where this camshaft position sensor is on your Dodge and be aware there could be two. So keep that in mind. Go and check the wiring harness. Be sure the wiring is good. There's different ways you could check that. You want to be sure that there's no open shorts or anything like this. Check for a fuse. There's usually a fuse on the circuit somewhere. And once you know the wiring's good and the fuse is good, go ahead and replace that sensor. And that usually solves the problem. And that's basically it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Dodge with the P0345 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.